Hey you guys, this is Jerry Mateo from Music Marketing TV and today I got a really, really quick video for you guys and this one is something that I think will really help and improve your workflow if you're using Blue Cat Audio's MV7 Mixer or Blue Cat Audio's Patchworks. Their latest versions have added a lot of cool new features, especially when it comes to automation to speed up workflow. Now one of the more important things is you're going to also want to make sure your assignable parameters are being shown, which is right here. Now we're going to just load up a plugin. I usually have EQ set as my FabFilter Pro Q2 because who doesn't like FabFilter Pro Q2? And as you can see, there are no controls mapped. Even if I create parameters, there's no controls mapped. And as you know, in Studio One or in almost any other DAW, it's very difficult to uh, use parameters like that. So this is the easy and quick way to do this without having to go through this crazy menu that you normally have to go to where you have to map all these parameters. Now, you go here and you turn on the load parameter mode. Whatever node we're on, we can just move the frequency. And now we have parameter one. Go on two. Move the frequency, we have parameter two. Now let's see what happens here. If we twist one, that changes the frequency. Two, the frequency. So now all we gotta do is, whatever DAW you're using, is we just have to go to the automation section. So in Studio One, you have a cool thing where you can grab the controls. And then let's go over here, and I believe we picked those, boom. So now we have two automation lanes. So we can actually tell Studio One what to do. And if we scrub through this, we should be able to see the automation is moving. Now, I know this is really quick, and I know this seems a little rushed, but honestly, it's just that easy. All you really have to do is tell it the parameters you want to automate. So there you go. Once again, this is Jerry from Music Marketing TV, and I hope to see you guys again soon.